Hello, friends, and thank you so much for joining us. We are so excited to sit down with you today and talk all things therapy dog, which is something that Tara and I and so many of you are wildly passionate about. So I will do a quick introduction. I'm Christina, for those of you that don't know me, and Tara is going to introduce herself in a little bit, but my husband, Sean, and our golden retriever, Nash, um, we actually are currently doing a national tour across the U.S. called the Pause for Love Tour, where we are out and spreading awareness about what therapy dogs do. So in each city that we visit, we go out and serve with Nash, who is a therapy dog. We serve in schools, police stations, fire stations, anywhere that'll open their doors to us. And we interview local therapy dogs, and we also do meetups. So the Pause for Love tour has been wonderful, but one thing that we're seeing on a constant basis is that people have so many questions on therapy work, or they get it confused with a bunch of other different work. So in this video series, we are going to sit down with you and just give you tons of information. So grab your notebooks. Um, but in this video series, what you can expect is to be introduced to therapy work. So if you know about it, great. But if you don't, we're going to walk you through uh, what therapy work really is. We're also going to be educating you on what the training and certification process look like. So if you are interested in taking your dog through this process, we're going to help guide you a little bit on that and really just encourage you. We want you to leave this video series feeling wildly encouraged and inspired to do this work. As you'll see, uh, we're really passionate and we're passionate for a reason because it really does change people's lives. Um, on so many different levels. But what you're not going to get in this video series is specific guidance and specific recommendations. So we're not going to give you where you should go for training in your area or what organization you should get involved in. That's all going to be homework that you're going to do based on your specific needs and desires. And we'll walk you through that at the end. But I now want to hand it over to my sweet friend, Tara, for her to introduce herself and tell you all about what her and her sweet pup do. Thank you. And thank you for having me. Um, hi, everybody. I am Tara and my husband, Jason, and I, uh, we live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania with our very rambunctious 12 year old now chocolate lab named Juno. And the way I came into therapy dog work. So we, you know, when Juno was a puppy, we took her to obedience classes, you know, like most people do. And the place here in Pittsburgh that we were taking her to talked a lot about therapy dogs and preparing you to take the test, whether or not you even wanted to. Their goal was that they wanted the dogs there to be therapy dog ready, whether you had planned to be a therapy dog or not. And so I heard a lot about it, but I wasn't really sure like exactly what that meant. And I just thought like, great, my dog's going to be obedient. Oh, awesome. You know? <laughs> and then, um, over time, I actually ended up having some health problems and I found myself in the hospital and I had to have surgery and I was the patient laying in the bed that a therapy dog came and visited me. And I felt the impact that that dog made on my hospital stay, but I also saw the impact that that therapy dog had on the nurses and the staff and family members. And it was during that time that I was like, this is what I want to do. I want Juno to be a therapy dog. And I wanted to volunteer specifically at that hospital as a way to say thank you to the nurses who nursed me back to health. And it took a while that, and we will talk about this in later videos, it took a lot longer than I expected. <laughs> I thought it was going to go a lot quicker, uh, but we eventually did it. And we have been volunteering at that hospital for the past nine years. And then most recently, uh, four years ago, I saw an opportunity there when they were starting a therapy dog program at our airport. And so for the last four years, we've been part of the pit pause team at uh, Pittsburgh International Airport. So we have quite a number of years under our belt. I've seen a lot, but it's, it's my favorite thing in the world. So yeah, oh, well, I am so <laughs> glad that, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad that you're joining today, Tara. I couldn't do this video series without you. Y'all are going to get so much great information from Tara. Her and Juno are the therapy dog queens. So <laughs> buckle up. We've got some great info to walk through with you. Um, so just feel free to click throughout this video series. You can go in order of all of the videos, or you can click wherever makes most sense for you based on your current knowledge. So grab a notebook and grab a cup of coffee, and we can't wait to walk you through what the rest of this process looks like. 